I'm holding what I think to be as one of the coolest LEGO Star Wars promotions we have seen in quite some time. And officially at this point in time, it is unavailable. Yes, it is out of stock, sold out, and sadly, maybe gone forever. Well, that's pretty common with the LEGO gift with purchases because they only run for a limited time period, like the Trade Federation, Federation Troop Carrier. It's no different than some of the other LEGO promotional items that they run throughout the years. But just in particular, this one happened to be one I was super sad after because I love building a LEGO army, even if that means a droid army. But anyways, guys, we're gonna talk about some of the promos that released what is currently going on, what I think about it, and of course, you know, should you open, should you sell, and should you build. So if that interests you, stick around, and it should be a pretty fun video. Happy May the 4th to you, because we're officially almost around 24 hours before the LEGO page is done celebrating and recognizing May the 4th, which makes sense, right? All good things have to come to an end, and it's been an absolute blast. I absolutely made some yeah, probably a lot of purchases. I swiped the card pretty heavily, but you know what? It was an absolute blast. I'm really excited for all the orders that I placed. I ended up placing an order in our last live stream to get more additional promos, and so happy I did so because shortly after, the promos are gone and out of stock. So currently at the time of recording, um, like I said, this is the promo that was available and is officially finally sold out after just around three short days. Now, of course, there is still two other promotional items that lego is still offering one is the lego star wars uh battle of yavin coin along with the poly bag which is the aat so i would argue two pretty solid promos but uh, again if you were holding out and trying to get all three uh, it, it doesn't make sense to order now that it's you know you already missed out on those promos but if you're if you were only planning on spending a little bit less like say we were at the 90 dollars or say you're at the 40 dollars i guess it still makes sense to make your lego purchases um but there's again still a few other sales currently going on like lego is currently offering the chewbacca from 200 dollars uh with a 35 dollar coupon so it's a little bit extra saving and then same thing for the emperor's throne room that retails for 100 dollars and lego's offering the 15 dollars and of course they still have the forex points on a handful of sets that are all back ordered except the x-wing it's decent not the amazing sale i actually bought two out of three of these times a few because i thought it was a good enough deal for me to get but uh that's just me and i can't really speak to everyone there um but as far as sets that went out of stock sold out and or you know just back ordered i think it's always interesting to reflect this lego star wars made the fourth period i don't know it was it, i have mixed emotions on it of course it was super hyped up I was really excited for it and I think it delivered. Um, now on the contrary, I thought, you know, it's like one of those things, right? Where it's like, <laughs> you don't want things to sell out, but you do because you like the hype. That's what I feel like I felt like during this whole entire time period. And it didn't really all sell out for the most part. And I was a little bit sad. I'm like, oh, you know, super hyped to sell out. <laughs> but I'm so happy everyone was able to get all their port purchases and had abundance in time to get all their purchases. It just, you know, died a little bit level on the hype level. So anyways, if we run through some of the sets that are currently backordered and out of stock, the first one is actually a brand new release set is the Commander Cody uh, Brickhead, which is, I thought, a really good one. I'm assuming it's just a really popular set as well as a great set to throw in for anyone who was ordering and was really close to the promo threshold uh, just being at a short small price of ten dollars that's what i did to get mine i was like oh you know i don't need this set right away but meh i need to spend a few more dollars may as well get this prickheads right uh we also had the midi scale falcon go on back order the darth maul Sol sith infiltrator which is a brand new set we have the clone trooper and battle droid battle pack the boarding nintana the course not guard gunship which actually is 4x points um which also 4x points is the new wing uh new republic e-wing versus shin hadi starfighter we had the Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader Brickheads, the Millennium Falcon, the Executor, the Emperor's Throne Room, the Masazi Cantina is the first set on this list that is out of stock. Hopefully we see that one be restocked in a short amount of time because I know that is a popular set with retirement ending in 2024. The UCS Venator, the Tusken Raider, Princess Leia uh, Helmet, uh, Yoda's Jedi Starfighter, and then two sets out of stock is the Ghost and Phantom 2 and the AAT. Two of probably what I called the Mos Eisley, the AAT, and the Ghost and Phantom 2. Three of the big tier sets that I thought were going to go out of stock during this May the 4th promotion, 
Not a surprise that they did. I think they're just highly sought after, especially for the deals that they were offered. Now, currently, the Ghost is on sale on Amazon right now for $128. I still am going to argue that is a pretty decent price point for that set just because we really haven't seen a sale until this May the 4th period. But uh, if you want to check out that one, it is going to be linked in the description below. $128 for that. I feel like it's a decent price point, so not too bad there. And then same thing with the Clone Trooper Battle Pack. That one's $24. And sadly, the X-Wing was a decent sale. It was $35, but it looks like it's gone back up to 50. So anyways, that was over three solid sets on sale. Jumping back to the out of stock and, um, you know, back ordered, we have the Battle of Endor Heroes. We have, uh, these are actually retired Lego Star Wars sets. I guess we don't need to go on those. <laughs> BD1, RIP. Uh, but yeah, anyways, those are kind of the sets that really sold out or and or went back ordered. So the only three that officially sold out is the Moss Eisley Cantina, the Ultimate Collector Series at AT, and of course, the Ghost, three of the top sets that I kind of talked about. Now, I want to talk about an interesting topic and a lot of questions I've been getting in the chat is Christo, are you going to buy, are you, not you're going to buy, are you going to build or are you going to sell your promos? And honestly, guys, with you, I think this is truly one of my favorite promos that Lego Star Wars has done in quite a very, very, very long time. Um, and I have no desire to sell any of these. Now, with that being said, since this is officially sold out, I would not be surprised if we start to see this uh, promo increase ever so slightly in the aftermarket. I am filtering this by sold listing listing prices. So we can see on eBay, which is just a third party a reseller, how much these are actually going for. For it looks like $40 plus $10 shipping here on May 4th. We also have a listing here for $55. We have all three promos for $59. We have this one for $59, but a better offer was accepted. $60 for all the promos. $40 for just the promo plus shipping. So generally around that $40 price tag. Now for me, if I if you took you know told me like Christo, you have to sell this, you know, what would you sell it for? I, I really like I have no desire to sell these. Like I feel like the absolute point was someone's like, I'll buy that off you. I, I feel like I don't know, like $80. Like I, I truthfully have no desire to sell these at any point in time. But if it were to go to a price, I feel like $80 is quite reasonable for me like okay you know what i don't need it i'd rather have the 80 dollars. but until that point christo is going to be building at least three of these and then keeping the other three that he has sealed in box but i would love to i think it's an interesting topic so i am like i said i'm not in investing in these or reselling these but i am curious to see what you guys think of that in the comments below just because it's kind of like a highly sought after promo and like discussion points so that is kind of interesting and then lastly the one thing i want to talk about is a few of the new lego sets that are coming for june uh we'll just brief on that but if anyone is ordering on lego they are picking up one of these sets on sale or anything like that or even any lego set at that fact um uh, rakuten is still running 10 percent cashback at lego um solid solid savings i'm not sponsored by them but i do talk about them quite often because i personally use them and uh they've really done well for saving lego for me in the long run over the last few years but if you do want to sign up you will get 40 dollars off your first purchase if you are a new user on top of that sweeten the deal they are giving new users 10 percent additional so you'll essentially have 20 percent cash back from lego as well as a free 40 bucks. So make sure to take advantage of that with the link in the description below. But let's talk about June 1st Lego releases. I actually have a few of these in hand right now. Well, actually I have just about all of these. First is the Captain Rex Y-Wing Micro Fighter. I put up a full review of these sets on the channel, but uh, I don't know. I wanna hear what you guys think of these still in the comments below. This is only gonna retail for $13. Yes, you get the Captain Rex minifig, the exact same one in the Ultimate Collector Series Venator. Um, I know people say you don't buy the Venator for the fig, but I'll leave that open discussion with you in the comments below. The next one is the Paz Vizsla and Moff Gideon Battle. Again, another fantastic Lego set. I really do love the minifigs. It felt like a $30 set, but 40 bucks, you do get four solid minifigs. Of course, two of those being the Praetorian Guards. And of course, a really cool exclusive Moff Gideon. I'm really excited for that set. I think there's a lot of uh, hype around it. So I am excited to see fans get that. One of the best parts about it is it is attachable to the ambush on Mandalore. So essentially, I will take a better video of this, but uh, you can really literally just attach these together to kind of make like one scene. I feel like that's an aspect of Lego Star Wars that just has not been, you know, done well with like 
you know, compatibility will cross other Lego sets. And I think that's a great idea by Lego. And I'm really hoping this starts a new trend. And then lastly, we do have the X-Wing mech from Luke Skywalker, a really cool set. I don't know. People's got a lot of hate for this one. Um, they're like, oh, I hate the Star Wars mechs. But for me, this was my favorite Star Wars mech. I love mechs. And uh, this one does it for me. I thought this was an incredible set. Of course, 16 bucks is a little bit high for something like this, just getting one minifig and some, you know, buildable small parts. But uh, it, it is, it is, really really cool um i would you know more or less wait for a sale just like i personally do for everything else but if you're a day one buyer i mean you truthfully can't go wrong this is probably one of the better waves of lego star wars in my eyes because everything is basically like minifig scale which i love minifigs anyways that's gonna wrap up today's video i know we had a lot to talk about judging from out of stock lego promos to um lego deals to uh, June 1st Lego releases, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And then the last set is the advent calendar. I did not have this one as a copy yet from the Lego ambassador network. Um, reason I didn't talk about it, but it is a really cool set. And, uh, I'm excited for it because it's, it's a Lego advent calendar. I, I, I genuinely love the Lego advent calendars, but that's going to wrap it up. Love you guys. Hope you have an amazing May 4th, a revenge of the fifth, the whole kind of spiel. We will see you in the next video. Love you guys. Peace.